this is my vlog. Um, I'm gonna be recording tonight some silliness that you'll see. This is this is buddy. Say hi, buddy. Um, tonight we have um Antarell McCoy. He's rehearsing a, a song that he's doing. It's Derek Stark. Say hello, Starks. You can't really see him. <laughs> now you can. Say hello, Derek. <laughs> Okay, it's on. Yeah, roll. yeah. It's rolling. It's rolling. Man, why are you always clowning? Man? No, I'm, I didn't do How nothing. Old are you, man? Huh? How old are you? I'm 37. You're 37? You just had a birthday. Huh? I almost said nigga. <laughs> oh, you at the old. Baptist Convention. <laughs> Bishop. Are you always clowning? No, I was just what well, I was just saying hello. This is for my video blog. A video of and so So you don't like Baptist folks? I love Baptist people. See? Are they saved? Huh? Yeah. Do they got the Holy Ghost? That I don't know. <laughs> do they need the Holy Ghost? No, I believe a lot of them have the Holy Ghost. I said do they need it? They need it. They need it. There's Ladies and gentlemen, Derek has been Baptist for many years many years he hasn't paid a report in the church of god in christ in probably probably about 10 15 years speaking of people that don't pay reports sean say hello well i'm a, i'm only a minister oh i'm, I'm, I'm minister just joking i'm just joking I'm a, I'm a they're, they're supporters charge. of the church I'm an elder. I'm an elder without charge. Oh, okay. What you, well, but you I'm, show charge. Folks. I was an elder without charge until they start charging me. Yes. What are you doing tonight? I am um, going to clown uh, a little bit tonight for these young. Hold on. Hold on. What's up, y'all? This is Eric Taylor, and uh, what you have just seen is the beginning of my video log, the vlog. And uh, what you are about to see is an argument between Antarell McCoy and Derek Starks. These two love one another. They love each other. They're good friends. But when we get together, the clowning that comes forth. I just wanted you guys to see the clowning that goes on with us. We're preparing to... Um, um, to perform at a uh, thing with Cleotis and with Derek Stark's family and friends. And you're gonna see this wonderful comedic interlude. Watch this. I don't mean to interrupt this thing. This nigga, this nigga. Oh, no, go ahead. Well, see, you got to come out. I got him on this gig, okay? Oh, no, no, we, we rolling, baby. I got it. Look, let me tell y'all something. His first, this, this, this Nick Rose first show, he opened up. We He, he did our intermission. Well, we first, did it. That was my first show. That was 2000. Boy, I will hit you right no, in front of the was my that first was 2000. And, 2000. No, when we did. 2000. About 2001. About 2001. Yeah. You made your day. Didn't nobody know nothing about no Cleo Fitz. At all. None of that. At all. So, I still don't know about Cleo Fitz. I know Cleo Fitz. Ooh. Fitz. Cleo. Know, okay. See? You never expect to be dead. Ever. Ooh. You never this is live, ladies no, and gentlemen. You never expect yes, what I, I did. did. And you want to give me the glory. And you want all the glory to come with you. No. But God said all the glory. No. That's the honor. That's what that, Mother River said. All the glory. <laughs> The no, praises no. all day. No. They've been long taken out. <laughs> now, now, it's been, it's been two, since 2000 and it's 2012. Yeah. They called me. Look, the, the people called me here. They was like, yo, man, we need a comedian. Ding! Antarell McCoy. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. So, he, I, we, we hook it up. We work everything out. He called the people. They were working out whatever they going to work out. And, um, and I told you, guess what? I told you thank you um, before. I'll take you thank you again. But I shall will not say it again. Because I didn't told you all. Go on over there for you get a whoop. Go on over there for you get a whoop. Bad too. That's your little family. You look just like you. Amen. You look just like you. 
No denial. Just like. I appreciate you. No, man. I don't, you no, no, I no, 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 that's all right, and I appreciate it. The next time they ask for a grimace impersonator, you will be bitten. <laughs> the, I promise you, I will not go to another. I'm coming okay. right to you. Oh, so you taking it there? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You, you want them. I'm just saying. Whenever, whenever they want. Y'all hear this? That's all I'm saying. They're, whenever they want, I want to be there for you because I want to put money in you. So why are you saying grimace? No, I'm just saying. Well, just you ain't got to wait I don't owe you show. nothing. What I owe you, damn? 10%. Of what? Of this show. You ain't Jesus? No, I ain't. <laughs> you want the title no, of Jesus? No, no, I'm talking about getting this game. I'm talking about getting this game. See, see that's, that's why you can't help people. Is that why it is? I'm a promoter too. It's, oh, since when, man? I'm a promoter on the Have you ever heard of Big Red? <laughs> I'm a promoter on the side. Dear, you ain't never told nobody you can. <laughs> don't, don't go there. I ain't saying Don't go nothing. there. It told it to me all. Don't, don't go there. I wasn't ready, Dear. Don't go there. All I'm saying is I wasn't ready. I didn't know. Ain't nobody even. No one stops the kids. No, I wasn't you, even. You trying to get me. Dear, I wasn't you. You got me against the wall. I can't even do that. I can't even go nowhere. <laughs> this is perfect. Stop counting, man, because you're on camera. Just break a leg tonight. Thank you. That's a break. It's a lot. Not, this is the thing. Really. This is uh -oh. thing. Don't break a leg for real. Uh, no, I'm trying not to. It's like a whole bunch of little kids in there. Uh -oh. And I keep trying to tell them I'm a comedian, not a clown. So I really don't know really what to do tonight. Just so have little, fun with the kids. I'm a little you might nervous. do that trip. I might. Do that I, well, no, I might go and do a little interaction with the kids yeah. and you know, bring this them up on stage. You, uh, thing. you know, and see what we could do there. So I'm trying to span out my. Uh, I'm trying to see what we gonna do. We might have to say yes, Jesus love me I, exactly. instead of because um, it's 13 people and no, they in there. They in there. I just came out of there. They in there. They coming in droves, Doc. They coming in droves. Are they down there? Are they down there? Park. Don't need to validate. Are they down there? That, that park is 15 miles. Oh. <laughs> I'm straight. Oh. How did you get it? See, this is the promoter. No, I didn't know. Let's talk about the real promoter. This is the same thing that happened on Ray. On Ray, he called him in the room. He said, you don't think I know you've been keeping the books from me? <laughs> you been taking it off the top. It's just like that. And that's the same thing there. Derek got me the gig. He did. Oh, but he didn't give me the gig without getting himself a hotel room. And I think he got two because his kids in there. I think one of them room belonged to mine. Okay, that's look. That's what I'm okay. One of them room belonged to mine. Yeah, oh. yeah, I got a room. But you live here. Derek starts... You Nobody knows where you live, dude. You live here. Where that's, do you live here, That's good. That's good. And they won't know. You know what? Now that I think about it, where does Derek live? <laughs> you know what? We. This is what I want y'all to see. What you just saw was Antarell and Derek in like their normal everyday clown mode. We do this every time we get together, and it, it, it's it's fun. This is what I want to show in our um, video blogs. I just want to show like just everyday interaction, unscripted, just us coming together, having fun, clowning, because that's what we do the most of. Just just clowning, and uh, you're gonna see that this is new to me. I'm just learning how to. Uh, vlog and so it's not going to be as professional as you may have seen some other YouTubers do but I'm getting there I'm learning so we're getting ready to show you now um, a little interview I did with one of my favorite sopranos Angelique Starks um, a awesome singer she's going to talk a little bit you know introduce herself to the video blog audience and um just enjoy. All right. Talk to you in a minute. Peace out.
Give yourself a little introduction. Give you a little bio on yourself, your name, and where you're from. And my name is Lena Star. I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan. I'm saved, sanctified. First, just get pulled up. Put your hand down. Put Paul up. I'm not lying. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I am saved for real. Hanging out with my folks. Um, Candace Bishop. Uh, Ed's real. Uh, Big Sean. My fam. For life. So, what are you um, saying? What do you. What is. You know. What? You're a soprano or an alto? I sing soprano, alto as well. Mm. I've never really tried to sing tenor too much, but I mean. Oh. Just give a little bit of your um, resume, your your vocal resume. It's not that long. It's just a little something here and there. I thought you said you were saved and <laughs> filled with the whole. Just a few of the people you were blessed to work with. That's my baby sister. Oh, that's been established. <laughs> Just name a few of the artists that you've been privileged to work with. So that's the top in gospel music. Uh, I mean, so like that, yeah, the one is number one family. Yes, you had the privilege to go on that tour. Back to Angelique. Well, we're glad to have you on our video vlog and just give a message of encouragement to everyone that sees this. We have Sean. Terrell singing about the little teapot.
did I tell you? Sean and Antarell complete clowns. That's only the beginning. But wait until I add clips. I got a lot of stuff stored that I'm just going to show you backwards stuff. So look, this is vlog one. I'm going to find some kind of good way to name them, but this is the first one. But I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Leave some comments below and uh, just tell me what you thought. Don't just watch it and not say nothing. Tell me what you thought, what I could improve. Give me some ideas. So until next time, peace.